Those, those uh, supers are, they don't have to build it out. It's already built out. Yeah. They're that thick. It's crazy. All right, ready? I'm done. Okay, week 15 with our teaching hive. Today we are going to put on a treatment because last week at our mite check, we came up with six mites. So it's definitely above treating threshold. And we're also going to bring up some teaching points because this time of the year, things change. Uh, and it's wise to be fully suited up because the bees can be a little bit aggressive. Uh, you'll notice this hive is usually very calm, but right now it's not. Yep. They get very defensive, especially with the amount of yellow jackets flying around. Uh, I worked my hive yesterday and I bet I killed a dozen yellow jackets with the hive tool. So anytime you open one up, they seem to show up and uh, take advantage of the no guard bees on the honey. So because we're going to put on formic, the, uh, which is all we can do with the uh, honey supers still on, we will uh, want to push all the, the brood wow. to the bottom. That is a beautiful frame. And boy, she's still doing She's still great. doing, she's, she's just doing great. And the first frame was food frame? Yes. Hatch out on this side, still some brood. Yeah, it's pretty well hatched out. No A few larvae in there. There's some larvae on this side. Did you want to get those? Uh, no, we're going to go ahead and treat anyway, so there's no. And we know there's mites in here. No, so. it was, uh, just eliminating some of the drones in the hive. Well, if you, you start looking, you're going to see. Very few drones, yeah. I'm predicting. They're, they're taking care of that themselves. If we see a dozen drones, I'll be surprised. Yeah. The bees don't need them, and all they do is suck up their honey stores, so the girls run them out. Yep. Usually without their wings. <laughs> yep. Nothing. Well, we might want to hold that one out. Okay. I mean, there's a bunch of them with nothing. Yeah. They're up in the yeah. Well, this one's got a, this is a good frame. Okay. And she's come back. There's larvae. This one. I don't see her yet. I'm betting the next one's all through. Yeah. I agree with you. Yep. Okay, we're going to leave that like that. And now we're going to go up here.
brood yet. Just packing in honey. A little bit of larva on that second one. Here's brood. So we need to push it down. Yep. Yeah, do you want to take that other one out? Yep. And this one stays. I think it was this one. Yeah. Here's eggs. Yeah. Nothing. This would be ideal time with this small amount of brood in here to go ahead and use oxalic acid as well. I did not see her. Um, she could be in the super. Yep. Yeah. Super was awfully heavy. We did have, we didn't take take that super last week because there was was brood in it last week that's right okay there was one frame of brood with some eggs on it right Mm -hmm. And this is the one? Yep. Well, let's double check this one. Don't see her, do you guys? No. Nope. Two, then. We had two full frames of cat brood, and then you pulled the eggs and larva down, so we got three. Is there three? Yeah. Okay. You want to put it on top or work it there? Well, then we have. Well, yeah. yeah, work it there because we got, still got to put the formic on. Yeah. Oh, it's got brood. Yeah, and they're coming back and filling this with honey, with honey. Good. after the brood has emerged. That's all honey. 
same thing here. Back filling with honey. Back filling with honey. in the same area. Oh, this has got a little more brood attached in the center. So that's three frames with Partial yep, out of the super. Yeah. That all honey? This is all honey. It's all honey. All honey. This one's got a little bit of I'm gonna smoke these, John, and then Jim can scrape scrape the uh, wax off before we put the it down. We need to mark that one frame that's drawn out. Oh, it's right in the middle? Yeah, that's one. Maybe it's a 16. Yeah. Okay, this is a bag of Formic. There's two pads inside. That's the normal treatment for the uh, for a double D pie. We've got all our brood in the bottom. Uh, the formic is heavier than air, so it will not drift up uh, to the super. The, uh, this paper that is wrapped around each one of the pads is meant to be uh, left. Do not unwrap the pads. And it uh, is what creates a slow release for the format. So it's as easy as that. Just make sure you're upwind of it because it will knock you on your butt. So we've looked at the uh, weather forecast and uh, the high temperatures don't return until next Thursday. So it should not adversely affect the high. So, if you are still trying to get your bees to draw out your frames, <coughs> you're going to have to feed again, and it's still one to one, but you can only use an inline feeder. Do not use a top feeder, do not use a boardman. Inline feeder. The other thing is if you have high yellow jacket populations that are all over the uh, hives, uh, this is when you need an entrance reducer. And it's basically the only time you need an entrance reducer. Um, and make sure to remember to pull the entrance reducer before, uh, after Thanksgiving. But go ahead and put those on to help your bees fight the yellow jackets. This hive's more than strong enough to take care of itself so we don't need to put on the entrance reducer. The uh, other thing is make sure it's secured because uh, both the bees and sometimes the yellow jackets will push it out of the way if it's just laid there. Please what else, be gentlemen? Be careful with your smokers. Yes. Um, 
have a designated place that's free of grass, anything like that, to set your smoker down when when you're not using it. Um, sure don't need any fires caused by by a smoker. Anything else? Nothing I can remember. Right on. Thanks for watching. See y'all next week.